the the low cost man a kit really came out with there's a there's a market gap right now um you have your and this is this is not to say it's bad on any one radio oem but you have i would say your your lower end capability um mesh network radios such as bluetooth and bear uh or not bluetooth sorry um beartooth and gotenna um where you're getting a very low swap radio that does your dots on the map might do voice um and limited data rates and the co- they're priced accordingly for that they're they're on the lower end um and then you have your high tier radios your your upper echelon stuff like your Silvis, your do uh your domo tactical um your persistent system mpu5 your um you know anything l3 that's going to be on the higher end cost wise um but there's really nothing in the middle um, for them. So they might need a little bit more capability than um, what the lower end offers, but they don't have the money to spend on what the the higher echelon radios cost. So when Doodle came in with the the wearable, that really it filled this vacuum in the market that nobody was tackling to where you get a lot of capability for a very little cost. Um, and the cost is actually more towards the lower end. So you're getting, you know, higher in capability for something that, you know, would cost them a little bit more than what a Beartooth or Gotenna would. 